The moves are as upbeat as the music. Tonight, these participants are hopping and swerving to Latin beats, doing Zumba, a workout that combines traditional aerobics with Latin dance moves. It's all a part of the Fit and Fabulous for 15 program in Wayne County. The program is really uh, a nutrition and fitness program um, designed to help individuals in the community to shed their unwanted pounds and to just really have a healthier lifestyle. Oh, there's a big need. Um, of course, you know, we have diabetes. That's, that's a huge problem here in eastern North Carolina and in Wayne County. Um, and my role as the minority health coordinator, I really see the great disparities when it comes to uh, fitness, obesity, um, people's access to really good, um, sure information. Fit and Fabulous for 15 combines an exercise program with the nutrition curriculum of Eat Smart, Move More, Weigh Less a curriculum developed by a team of experts in health, nutrition, and physical activity from across the state. The team researched factors that help people achieve and maintain a healthy weight. And three things really came out. Planning, have to plan. Tracking, keeping track of your food and your physical activity. You don't have to do it forever, but it's so amazing things happen to people when they, when they write down what they eat, even for a day. And then the third is mindful, living mindfully. So often we go through our day and we don't even know what we ate or when we ate or were we active. And so putting that mindfulness back into your day, thinking about the foods that you're eating, thinking about the foods that you're choosing to serve your family, and thinking about whether you're being physically active or not. Each week, local experts give a lesson on nutrition from the Eat Smart, Move More, Weigh Less curriculum guide. Then twice a week, a certified fitness instructor conducts exercise classes. I was having some back problems and uh, I had gone to a chiropractor and that helped a lot, but he told me that I really need to get in an exercise program. And uh, I was at my church one Sunday and they advertised this program and we signed up and I joined it and I really enjoyed it. It has really worked wonders for me. I needed to exercise. I already have diabetes. I have high blood pressure and I thought that this class here, you know, would help out some. So I, my wife, she had saw it that, that they had this fit and fabulous. She said we should do it as a family. And I got some of my, uh, my, my niece or two and a sister-in-law, a couple of sister-in-laws is also in it. So we're doing it as a family. In fact, there are several families participating, as well as co-workers and friends. More than 140 participants signed up for Fit and Fabulous for 15. And by the way, the 15 is for the $15 fee each participant pays for the entire program. Fit and Fabulous has been so well received that organizers had to find a bigger facility for classes. Cooperative Extension and the Health Department in Wayne County work together to put on the program. And I've never seen anybody as eager as this group, this group to be involved in a fitness program. Sometimes I think the gym can be very intimidating, particularly for people that are a little bit overweight and that may be shy about using equipment in front of other people that are really avid, um, you know, fitness gurus and goers. So this is not as intimidating. And so we try to make it fun and light so that everybody can feel like they're achieving something. Uh, and they feel good as a result of doing that when they come back. Participants come from all walks of life, from students to retirees, ranging in age from 11 to those in their 70s. I love the program. It's the, the leaders are so good, make it fun for us. We know, listen to our bodies, and if we can't do it, we stop and do it at our own pace. But the, the mo what I like the most is the variety that we have in it. And you have a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun. Fun activities plus factual, research-based information equals long-term weight loss success. Participants learn about proper portion sizes, healthier food options, and even get up close and personal with fat. Extension agent Christine Smith helped me realize just what it's like to carry around extra weight. This is a 20-pound fat vest that you're wearing. So how does that feel for you? This is heavy. Okay. This is a heavy 20 pounds. But the participants are getting lighter, and the proof is in the numbers, both on and off the scale. 
Organizers did health assessments before starting the program. They check for things like weight, blood pressure, and body mass index, or BMI. Now, with weight loss ranging from 2 pounds to more than 25 pounds, these participants have made big steps towards healthier lifestyles. Some of the numbers are coming down. Uh, of course, my diabetes, you know, I, I've cut back on some of my medication and the, uh, my blood pressure has been holding pretty steady. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling kind of tired when I get out of this class. These ladies are really putting something on me, but I, I enjoy it. I've lost seven pounds since the program began, and I have made a lot of little changes in what I eat. Um, we've been talking about portion control, so I measure my cereal. I've made some changes in what I eat for lunch, mostly salads and turkey sandwiches. Um, if I boil an egg, no yolk in the egg, little changes like that have helped me, and I've switched to 100% whole wheat bread. And that's what we're talking about with Eat Smart, Move More, Way Less, making those shifts in your lifestyle so that you're eating smart and moving more for the rest of your life, not just for six weeks or even 15 weeks of the program. But what are the changes that you're willing to make to change your life and change the life of your family for the rest of your life?